MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So, John, I want to learn today about the GS range from Hardinge. We've got the GS200 here, but can you tell us about this range of machines? Yes, Paul. The GS200, as you see here, is part of a family of products, what we call our mid-range area. The basic is a GS150, then a GS200, then we have a GS250, GS long bed, and GS266. So it's a platform of, of, of uh, lathes which give you the capability of either having a chuck capability or having a colleted solution. And depending on where you are in your requirements, we can scale it to be able to give you basic chucking for basic general engineering, general precision, or we can take you to a sub-micron, five micron capability on turning as well. Okay, but the, the models you mentioned there, the 150 and the 200, yep. that, that, is that entry level? That is entry level. That would be our general entry level product and you would find it typically in the European market, you'd find it in the Asian market and you'd find it in the Americas, be it North and South. So it's a gen generic product which we develop and bring out to the market in all areas, yes. Okay, so starting with this entry level range, is, there's, there's more of a demand for this type of machine, would that be right? By and large, this is predominantly most job shops that you find, be it from a, the, the smaller job shops in, the, in, uh, in Asia, to probably some areas of limited automotive level of capability, depending on the cape of, type of component you're trying to manufacture. But yes, it's our general level machine. On um, general level, uh, two axis, three axis, can you go up to a sub-spindle? Yes, in this, this family you can have live tools, you can have 12 live tools, you can have two axis, you can have a sub-spindle. In the family as well we have two models, a, a 200 and a 250, which are separate from the, from the modular, but they also MSY to give you more advanced capability on milling. Okay, and I've also seen a GS42 and a GS51. So how do they fit into the range? Yeah, that's interesting. By having a modular platform, we're able then to look at the capability of the machine. So if you wanted to become more of a bar user and you wanted to look for a collet, what we're able to do there, because of our global footprint in manufacturing, we have some of our higher level products precision-wise, which are manufactured in New York, in Elmira, New York. There particularly is a spindle which is manufactured. We take that spindle, we apply it to the same strategy here, and we're able then to give a higher capability of machine. With that, you change the tooling, so you go to more advanced tooling. You then have the capability of having more thermically stable machine as well, but you are finally then going to very, very finite work. So it's using the modular capability and the strong capability of this machine, but taking it to a higher precision level, but still sitting underneath the T and the H level of our, our premium brands which are made in North America. Okay, so with this machine then, we've got a VDI turret, a BMT turret? That's correct, yeah, VDI and BMT turrets. On the higher levels, we go to BMT turret. We also have a machine called an Ultra, which then has a more thermically stable package, it has BMT tooling, and it has direct linear scales. That gives you a much higher degree of accuracy on your components and concentricity around the five micron area. Okay, and then the controls on this machine, we have Siemens and Fanuc as options. Yes, to try, and, to try and match on the global market, clearly you have to have the Fanuc level of control and also the Siemens level of control. We are looking at other control systems, but predominantly in the global markets, it's Fanuc and Siemens. Now, Hardinch is a brand, a global, well, I mean, everybody knows the name. In the UK now, the machines are supplied by the Engineering Technology Group. Can you tell me a little bit about the relationship and how that has evolved? Right, that's, that's a good point, a uh, very good point. Uh, yeah, in, in the latter years, we've recognized that we really are trying to put as much of our efforts into developing new products. So you see the product here, you will see newer generations coming out in the, in the years. We want to make it faster as well. So we've, we've focused on trying to go more of an indirect sales organization by using good key distribution and then putting as much effort we can by bringing new engineers in and on a global side have an engineering team which brings newer products to market. So that presented us in the home market which is a really important market for, 
for Hardinge and Bridgeport is the UK market. So we had a, a key number of people which were service, spares, the legacy products, sales organisation, really good will with the customer. We wanted to make sure we didn't destroy that. So we're very, very fortunate to look around and we found a distribution organisation who we would have thought had the same values as us. And we found that to be ETG. And we were able to successfully transplant the whole of what was Hardinge machine tools in the UK, which was the service, the spares, the sales, the philosophy of that type of product, and transfer it within the ETG group. And it's been very successful for us as the key members of their organisation were the key members of HMT. And I work very, very closely with them to make sure we maintain that as well. So as a potential purchaser of a machine tool, you can expect not only a quality product, but from a company that can support you? Well, absolutely, we're top drawer ETG. We're very, very pleased to be able to work with them. And we know that they will carry on the tradition of the good level of customer and the goodwill in the market that both Hardinge and Bridgeport always expected. And lots of new products on the horizon potentially? Yes, as I said to you, one of our key focuses, we realise that we need to keep further in step with the market needs. So we have divested some of our focus in sales, direct sales, to be able to invest in new engineers in North America, in Taiwan and in China as well, and be able to get those people working together to get cost effective but near market products as quickly as possible. We look forward to looking at those in the future, John. Thanks That's for your time. Great. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.